Hi guys, Mariah Michelle here. Today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial. Today we're going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to do a voiceover because I definitely talk too much. So we're going to see something new from my channel today. But I'm going to do this look and I have some nude brown eyeshadow going on with some wing liner. Um, a little cat eye vibe going on. So definitely keep watching if you want to see this look. And I hope you enjoy this video. Okay guys, let's get started. So first, I like to put on Netflix. Today I'm watching The Good Place. It's hilarious. Definitely go check it out if you're looking for a new show. Then I get started on my makeup, and today I'm doing my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm doing them like normal, but if you want an in-depth tutorial, definitely let me know in the comments below. After I fill my eyebrows in, I go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I clean them up a little bit just to give them a seamless and blended finished look. Next, I go in with my Professional by Benefit. It's a primer and it gives me such a flawless base. And then I always use Jackie Ana's trick, which is to put some loose finishing powder on top. Today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me one. It is great. This really helps with oil production and I always notice a difference in my makeup. And then after a little coffee break, I spray myself with some setting spray. I'm using the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray just to lock everything in. And after I do that, I go in with my foundation. Today I'm using the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation by Fenty Beauty. And I blend that all out with my beauty blender until everything looks perfect. Next, I go in with my concealer, and today I'm using the Jouer Concealer, and I put it in the normal places, my chin above my lip, bridge of my nose, and my forehead. Next, I put it under my eyes, and I make sure to blend it out seamlessly so that there are no creases, and I also blend it on my eyelid just to give myself a nice base for the eyeshadow that I'm planning on doing. Then I go in with my Tarte Clay Stick Foundation in a darker color. I put it on my cheekbones, my forehead, my jawline, and then I put dots along my nose to contour all of those things. Then I blend it out and I make sure to blend upwards on my cheekbones just to give my face a nice lift. And then I blend all of the other places making sure it doesn't look muddy. After I'm done with that, I go in with my beauty blender just to smooth out any harsh lines and make sure everything is blended together. After that, I set my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I make sure to lock in my concealer and my foundation. Then I go in and I set my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I use my beauty blender just to set everywhere I put that Jouer concealer. Next, I go in with my Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and I'm using this white bright color as a base for my eyeshadow, making sure to put that all over my lid. Then with that same palette, I go in with Cashmere Bunny, a lighter brown color, just to use that in my crease and as a transition color. Next, I go in with Chocolate Cookie, just to give my eyes a bit of warmth and set the tone for the rest of the look. So I'm making sure to blend it outwards towards my eyebrow just to give my eyes a more cat eye look. And then I clean the edges up with some loose powder just to give it a cleaner look. Then I go in with Real Gar and Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills just to give my outer corner a bit of warmth. And I make sure to blend that all together and go back and forth between taking the color on my brush, packing it in, and blending to give it a seamless look. Next, I spray my brush with some setting spray just so that the color picks up better. And I go in with that white color from the Natural Matte Palette again, and I put that all over my lid. And I make sure to build up that color. I blend in my crease once more, and then I go in with that same brown shade from the Modern Renaissance Palette, and I line my lash line with that just to give me a nice smoky look, and then I make it into a wing, and it's okay if it's messy, it adds to the smoky effect.
Then I go in with all those colors once more and I put them under my eye. This gives me a very full look and adds to the fox eye, cat eye effect. Then I go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Then I take my MAC pencil liner and I line my waterline with that black color. I go in with my Sephora bronzer and I bronze up my face a little bit and give myself some of that warmth that we miss in the winter. Then I go in with my Milani blush in Luminoso and I love this part so forgive me if I'm putting a lot. You don't have to put this much but trust me it looks better if you do. Then I use the Hourglass highlighter stick just as a base for my actual highlighter. I blend that out and go over it with my Fenty Beauty highlighter. I put that on my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, on my eyebrows, uh, above my eyebrows, on my chin a little bit, and that gives me a nice glow. Today I'm using the Kiss Lashes in 11. They're one of my favorites and I'm doing something I've never done before. I am cutting them. I've always been so scared of doing this, but it worked out for me today. It was a lot lighter on my eyes after I did this. If you're scared to do it, just do it. Don't even think about it. And then I put my lashes on using the Duo Lash Glue in the dark tone because we like to live life on the edge. After that, I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel just to set my eyebrows so they stay in place. I spray myself with that same NYX setting spray to lock in my face. And then I use the MAC Lip Pencil in Spice. After I line my lips, I go in with my Sephora Lip Stain and I... I'm gonna try to find the color, but it rubbed off because I've had this for a long time. And then I go in with my KKW by Kylie Cosmetics Cream Liquid Lipstick in Kimmy, just on the center of my lips. Don't forget to draw on your fake moles, and that is the finished look, guys. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this everyday makeup tutorial where I do this nude brown look on my eyes. And I don't actually do this every single day, but on some days I like to look a little more glam than others, maybe some Fridays with your work from home situation, um, but on most days I don't wear makeup at all. But um, pre-COVID, this is probably what I would do on a day that I'm going out and it's just a casual day with my friends or um, a date with Keith where I'm just going to the grocery store <laughs> or something like that. I hope you enjoy this video. Definitely try out this look. Take a picture and tag me. All my socials will be linked down below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye! I was trying to scare you guys.